Good morning, little sloths. Welcome to my mukbang. I'm coming to you from not a restaurant, but an airport. Yeah, I'm at an airport. Wow, this kind of creates an echo, doesn't it? So I'm up against the wall right here, like up against the windows where the planes go, and um, I have Subway today. I'm gonna eat Subway for you guys. There's people all around. There's people down there. They can probably hear me because I do speak loud. And I'm a, I also have Lay's chips because that. I bought this at the, I bought everything. I even got a little decoration. No, I got all of it at the subway place so I can make this an authentic subway mukbang. And by the way, I'm sitting this on a rocking chair. So if it moves like that, that's why. Okay, let me show you what I got. So here's my subway bag. And I actually got this yesterday and then I put it into the refrigerator overnight. And oh yes, it's very like greasy. All right, you can see the oil, because I actually had them add olive oil to it. So it's kind of, you know, oily. But I got the veggie sub today. And the veggie sub, as you know, doesn't have many calories. It's like, phew. and I know that's what some of you guys want. You, well, you want to watch them waste lines, and you want to eat light. Well, for me, no. If I, I don't want to eat leaves. I don't want to eat just plain old veggies. I need some substance, or this ain't working. So I had them put on a lot of extra olives. Extra olives and olive oil. So I'll show you right now. Here's my sub. It has. Authentic airport. Ambiance. Ambiance. Your sh <laughs> you guys can feel like you're at the airport with me, you know? You know, for those of you that can't fly or it's too expensive or you don't want to or you're afraid, well, you can come with me. I'll show you. I'll be like, oh, and this is the lavatory. This is what it looks like. This is the hallway. That's what that looks like. So anyways, all right, let me try showing you again. Attempt number two. All right, we have cucumbers, we have lettuce, we have onions, we have peppers, we have spinach, we have lots of olives. Ooh, I love black olives. What is that noise? Well, I'm doing my thumbnail. And by the way, it is 7.30 a.m. And as I make this mukbang, I'm by the window, so it's cloudy, but the sun might come out, and so the lighting will change, and oh, there goes an airplane. I'll show you guys some takeoffs in a minute. But yeah, I had to get up super, super early to get some stuff super early. And I went to bed at it's like 11.30 midnight, because here's the thing, when I'm, let me have a bite first. Let me have a bite. And let me know what you, <gasps> I put that there for decoration, but it ain't gonna last. And let me know what you're eating with me. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't know if it's because it's first thing in the morning, I don't know if it's because I'm very hungry as usual. I don't know if it's because I put it into the refrigerator overnight. The flavors are really, really nice. And you know, I was very skeptical because it's like, <laughs> veggies don't make me feel full. But this, this is nice. But then again, I could probably eat two of these. I should have gotten two. Well, that's why I have my chips. All right. So yeah, I had to get up really early. Went to bed really late. Mmm. Mm. And I love black olives so much. Black olives are like ooh, one of my favorite, favorite vegetables. No, it's a fruit. One of my favorite fruits. Mm. So you know when you're about to go someplace? Especially, well, regardless of time. But actually, no, this is important. The time is important for this story. You have to get up early the next morning. That night, the sleep is terrible. How many of you are with me? Put your sloth paws to the air and let me know. I want to know. Because, you know, I just don't sleep well. I'm very anxious. You know, I don't want to miss the flight. I want to be on time. And even though I put up an alarm, my body was just like not even deep sleeping. Because subconsciously, consciously, I know I have to get up and I don't want to miss my flight. I've never missed a flight in my entire life. Thank goodness. Have I? No. I don't think I have. And I want to keep it that way because that's stressful. 
there's already enough stress in my life, like finding enough food to keep me alive. My dang high metabolism. <laughs> it's a struggle, it actually is. Mm. This is really nice. Mm. I highly recommend the veggie sub. And load it up with every single vegetable. Make it full. Get extra olives to act, act as your meat if you don't want to eat the meat. And, you know, a lot of people, they take Lay's barbecue chips and they put it inside the... I'm gonna try it. I don't I don't think I'm just gonna do very well, but... And I'm sorry, let me show you. I know in regular mukbang you're supposed to show your food while you eat. Ooh, look how oily. Look how oily it is. It's so oily. Ooh, I have to shave. Harry Sloth. Okay, now I'm gonna close the lid like this and I'm gonna try to have a little. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. See, si, senor. See, si, senorita, this is very nice. Mm. Final boarding at this time. Oh, there goes those little scooters, you know. It's this little, it looks like a truck top. The thing that pulls the truck. It's a little car. And behind they have the big crates that carry the luggage. <sighs> Anyways. Mmm. so good mm. like I said I don't know if it's because I'm hungry first thing in the morning I didn't have a lick of food chips for breakfast <laughs> yes mm. Mm. very good Now, I have a, a personal item, and I also have a carry-on. And so, so, well, I can show you what's in my personal item. First of all, I have so much stuff. Gosh. This is all food, all right? I can't go four days traveling without food. So let me show you everything. This is like an unboxing. I, I can pull. I can pull this over here. Yes, I can. my personal item I feel like one of those ladies that like you know the, the ladies that like seem to carry bricks in their bags their purses are so heavy excuse me I have all of these books I have what is this dun, dun, dun. And I have uh, the famous Paganini. Oh, that just went into the sandwich. I'm sorry. Okay, actually, I've never learned that. Can't play that. You know, I, I learned the baby Paganini's like this one. Yes. Oh. I thought that was an etude. I'm like, well, it's not. Number five, that's ugh. which ones did I learn? I learned number 14. I learned number 16. Oh, yeah, 16 was one of the first, it's one of the easier ones. Yeah, sounds beautiful, doesn't it? And uh, you know, so that's the, that's the gist. I have Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky concerto, Glazunov concerto. A lot of you guys are like, What are you talking about? Glaz People are staring. I don't care. But, um, oh, the famous, famous, famous Bach. Six part, six sonatas and partitas. I was, I was like, wait, what number? Um, the famous, famous. Like, this is what I really want to work on. This is like the foundation of. Oh, excuse me, a little bookmark that my mom gave me. This is unboxing. Welcome to my unboxing. Mukbang. 
Now, I also, this is a special shout out to my friends Emily and Sean because my personal item was not supposed to be this large, but they uh, this sent me. Final meeting for our folks, Spirit Flight Five. Four Flight Five Two Two is starts to new words. This comes from our key 12, starts to close momentarily, and once those are closed, they will not reopen. Again, this will start the final meeting for our folks, Spirit Flight Five Two Two is starts to two new words. Doors will be closed momentarily, and once those are closed, they will not reopen. New work. Then a train just blow up there. Uh, not blow up. Crash. I used to live right by Newark, New Jersey. Now, Emily and Sean, they sent me a care package. And the amount of stuff they sent me was like overwhelming. I was like, oh my God, is this Christmas? Is this sloth? <gasps> Should I do slothmas? You know, it's called vlogmas. In December, you vlog every day of the week, all 30 days. I mean, every day of the month. But I should do sloth miss. Comment down below if I should do sloth miss. That would be so cute. And I think the whole sloth thing will make sense very soon. So I want to show you everything they got me or sent me. This is Captain Crunch from Canada. They live in Canada. I haven't had Crump Captain Crunch for a very long time. They got me Daya. This is dairy free macaroni style, deluxe style Alfredo. Oh. Can you say mukbang? Thank you, Sean and Emily. You gave me more mukbang material. Um, you know, I met these two. Well, it was really first Emily. Was for actually first through Orlin. In a nutshell, Orlin has this friend named Emily. She was on. She is on Instagram. She kind of did YouTube, went away, but she's really on Instagram and Tumblr. Instagram, Tumblr, and she has a, a shop. And she sells like vegan, vegan shirts. She got me a shirt. This says, eat figs, not pigs. Eat figs, not pigs. And this is a muscle shirt. Ooh. So I can show, I actually love Orlin in these and she knows I do it. That's why, oh, she's so sweet. And another one, <gasps> another muscle shirt. Yes, I love these shirts. So I can show off my body to y'all. My junk food body, Subway, chip body. Okay, this one says, liberation for all. Isn't that beautiful? She designs these. You can find her, um, wow, I just got white. It's gonna be, you can find both of these shirts on her Etsy account. And, um, you know, she just, this is like her freelance work. This is how she supports herself. So I'm gonna have a link to her Etsy shop. So if you're vegan, all, all my vegan viewers, check this place out and please, you know, consider buying some shirts or as she gives a percentage of all of her earnings to animal sanctuaries animal sanctuary so vegans out there definitely check out my friend emily and sean friends emily sean I'll, I'll also have links to their social media so you can see who i'm talking about you can put a face to the names because i talk about them all the time this oh okay it has a buddha on it which is good vibes you know and it says avocado licious popcorn <gasps> this is popcorn that's dairy free and instead of butter they use avocado and avocado oil oh my gosh Another mukbang material. And, no, these are actually mine. She, here's the cap, I kept the box, cause you know, if I do, if I do this mukbang, I wanna show the box and like, obviously it's added weight, but whatever. And they sent me a little card, which is privacy. I've, I've learned the hard way, open the cards off camera. Okay, I know, those of you, you know, I'm sorry. Okay. Organics, chocolate chip, chip, chip. I had here are the chocolate chips. <gasps> they got a little, a little crumble, but that's okay. It, maybe it's just one. You know, one crumbles and it's everywhere. But there's lots of cool ones. Oh. Chocolate chips. So I have never ever had a Luna bar in my entire life. This is mm. That was the universe saying, take a bite. This is still mukbang. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Luna bar. I've never had a Luna, Luna bar. Lar bar. Have I had lar bar? I don't yet. So these things are very new to me rarely eat them. I don't think I don't think I've had these. I've seen them. The only thing I have had I have had is Cliff Bar, but yes, this variety. But there's a variety that she gave me. 
She got me all, the, uh, all these varieties of Cliff Bars. Look at that. So we have chocolate chip, we have peanut butter, we have chocolate, coconut chocolate chip, more Luna Bars. This is the one I've never had, chocolate almond fudge. How many of you guys have had this before? Comment down below and let me know if it's really good. I'm so excited to try it. See, I told you, she got me a lot of stuff. This is not even, this is not even halfway through, which is crazy. Okay, this is a kind of body call, kind of body call, like service and forward service and the control. If you have to get some down past your face, this is from 810, those will be closed in one minute, and one door is closed, and one are reopened. After that, I mean, I don't know if you have more than what I'm about, but I'm going to see you at those platforms, and you're going to throw. Delicious Subway. Okay. These are Rice Krispie. Ah, oh, they smell so good. Rice Krispie treats. I think, like I said, everything is dairy free. All of these packets, let me show you one by one. This is chicken flavor gravy mix, Souver de Poulet, vegetarian. Okay. Bug bug, okay. Turkey flavor gravy mix, Souver de Dined. Bug bug. And we have <gasps> brown gravy mix, sauce pour Magleng Brune, vegetarian. I mean, I know that people speak French in Canada, obviously not, like, Toronto is an international city. Um, but, like, traditionally, C Canada, C Canada was settled by the French people. And so, you know, it's very heavily in, you know, a lot of stuff in France. So this makes it even more special. Like, even the Captain, <gasps> the Captain Crunch is in French. Est-ce que je fais faire sourdes das maïs et des grises? Fancy. All right. One step, one minute microwave chana masala. Tasty bites. Okay, this looks like a. Oh, this is very healthy. Tomatoes, onion. Oh, this isn't French. Those are the only ones I recognize. It's vegetarian, though. And, okay, lentils. This is instant lentils. How many of you love lentils? Lentils are very healthy. This is great to recover from my junk food mukbangs. Oh. So, you guys are gonna see all these mukbangs soon. What else? I mean, this, she went all out. Cliff Bar, lollipops, excuse me. Let's have another Mm. And the bread is very soggy because it's absorbed all the oil. Mm. Yes. Yes, honey. Yes. You know, people do that all the time now. They're like, yes, with an A. Yes. Am I that type of guy? You know, I can be. Yes, honey. Yes, puppy. Okay. Okay, this is actually from the mango farm that I stayed at. These are dehydrated mango fruit roll-ups. All right, there they are. They're very chewy, but they're very delicious. I've had them before. If any of you I want to check out the place I stayed at while here. My good friend Chris, she has a farm, obviously. It's called Truly Tropical Mango Farm. T Truly Tropical. Just Google it. Over 40 varieties of mangoes. The best mangoes I've ever had in the world have come from this place. Uh, people from, uh, you know, because South Florida is full of a lot of immigrants, you know, immigrant. Immigrants or immigrants? I emigrated. I immigrated. Which one is it? Oh, well. People from Haiti, people from Jamaica, people from Colombia, people from all over the world. A lot of Indians are here. And you know, these are all like mango places. Mangoes in India, mangoes in Jamaica, and Haiti, and Colombia. And they say, Chris, your mangoes taste better than the ones back home. They're just so out of this world amazing. No strings in your teeth. Ice cream, and cotton candy, and uh, dwarf Hawaiian, and Hayden. Well, Hayden's ge like general compared to all these exotic varieties she has. It's amazing. Mango lovers, come here in the summer during mango season. Anyways, so that was from Chris. Chris, if you're watching, thank you. I don't know if you are. And we still have more from Emily. This is, oh, I've never had, 
Masle Montegreno, Syria. Chocolate raisin salad. Is this a Canadian cliff bar? I can't I can't say these words. Malay oh, I'm very bad with sounding out. Like I need to go back to phonics. Phonics? Yes, Phoenix. May Lance Montegnegre Montagna. This is not English. And oh that's from Orland. This was Orland's care package, roasted peanuts. And I also brought a bag of chips just in case I get hungry on the plane. Well, this is from Orleans Care Package. Like seriously, you guys, I'm such a foodie, all right? It makes sense that food be the highlight of my channel because because who travels with all this food? Really, really, really excited to try this. Wow, it it kind of smells like dog food mixed with meat. It smells some, like a meat, and it looks like meat. It's very strong odor, very strong. Oh, it says on the bag, which is crinkled and I can't see. It smells like bacon, bacon bits. Bacon bits that you either put on your sandwich or you give to your dog as the dog treats because we have bacon bites for Spanky and Riley and Butch. Yes, my mom had a dog named Butch. Dog food bacon bites. Emily, what is this? It probably says in the card you gave me. I'll text you when I get home. Um, I'm like, what? What is this? And I have macadamia cliff bar. This was from the care package Orly gave me. More lollipops. Suspicious white powder. I mean, excuse me, it smells like the bacon bits, but I think it's just because it was touching the bacon bits. I don't know what this is. It probably says in the card, like, I, this is suspicious traveling and, oh, is that a police behind me? Police man. This is suspicious, you know, suspicious going onto the airplanes with white powder. And <clears throat> that's only like a fraction. Well, that's probably half of what she gave me. I have other stuff in my, I couldn't bring on that plane because they're like liquid. She gave me jello. She gave me a carton of coconut milk. She gave me, oh, a jar of uh, chocolate, chocolate spread, like peanut butter, but like pure chocolate spread. Emily and Sean, thank you so much. And I'm sorry to those of you that are like, just eat, shut up. But I just, I really want to thank them and show you everything I got. And I hope that it was somewhat interesting. And wow, I'm gonna have a grand time putting all that back in the bag. So let's return to my eating show, shall we? We shall. Bye bye plane. There it goes. Mm. How many of you have watched Shane's video about airplane crash conspira airplane conspiracies? It's very freaky. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need a plate today. I guess it's a nice thing about Subway. You don't need a plate. <laughs> mm. Yeah, when I say Shane, I mean Shane Dawson. Just uh, if you're interested, if you want to be scared, type in Shane Dawson airplane conspir conspiracy theories. He does a good job of um, embellishing, you know, setting the, setting the mood. <laughs> That's a pilot right behind me. Oh, a pilot is right behind me. And so is the baby. Isn't that the worst? Okay, let me tell you, on the way here, coming to Florida, there was a baby behind me with her mother and her father. And the baby was being a baby. I, baby or toddler. It actually might have been a toddler. And we're, not, we're not, not talking an infant over there. We're talking like three or four years old. And she kept kicking, kicking my seat. And I'm just like, okay. I'm like, maybe I can like turn my perspective around. Say this is free massage, a five-hour massage. But nope, 
No, no, no. It actually got a little irritated. You know, it's disturbing. So all I did, I didn't say a word, Zippo, but I turned my head around just to like glance, which is sometimes all you need to do. Just, just be like, yeah, you help. I'm here. Just reminding you. Yes, I'm a person. So I turned around. I just looked, and the kids kicked my seat, and the mother, no. No mas, taco. You know, speaking in Spanish and stuff. And then that made matters worse because the kids screamed so loudly, and it was right behind me. And I was like, you know what? I would actually prefer the kicking than the screaming. And so they didn't scream for five minutes. I'm like, oh please, Lord Jesus, don't tell me that this is gonna be this this is gonna what's gonna be like the whole plane. Luckily she calmed down. It was like right at the beginning. Mmm beginning of the flight that's what she did mm. do you know who loves barbecue chips more than me my boyfriend sorry love bug i know you're watching but this bites for you oh. i almost dropped i swear you know i need to get checked for something for those of us on the road, on flight 610 from Tampa, Florida, you're back to the road about a short cut, turn so three. Once again, flight 610, Tampa, Florida, turn so number three. My Walmart shirt. I'm glowing. Mmm. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really excited to go home, see Mr. Noodle, go see Orlin. Ow! I bit my lip. Oh, security is walking by. They're like, there's a suspicious man talking to a camera. I've done nothing wrong. Mm. One time, when I was going through security, this was in London. They had to check me, pat me down, go through my stuff over and over, and deep unbox everything as if it was a, a YouTube video. Take all my stuff apart. <sighs> this is why you have to get to the early airport early, because you don't know if you're going to have to be hassled for 20 minutes. But um, the reason that the alarms went off, the police were signaled, was because the sloth, the one sloth, his uh, carry-on food looked suspicious. They were like, do you have cheese in your bag? I'm like, no, but I have about five potatoes. And they're like, I like, I ate potatoes. Oh, and I also had hummus, didn't I? Did I? I did, yes. And I remember I just sit there and eat it before I left. Right in front of the security guard. I had to eat everything because they didn't want, want let me bring it on board. It was a big packet of hummus. It was supposed to last me the trip, and I was like, "Well, looks like I'm eating now." No problems eating that. But the, the security guard was like, "You're really gonna eat all that from me?" I'm like, "Yes, I am." Do you know how much this cost? Oh, I'm so sorry. This is not as visually pleasing. Oh, I'm right. Wow. This is not as visually pleasing if you can't actually see the food I'm eating. Oh yeah, he's like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to do what you have to do. Mm. Black olives, wow. Cinco, cinco, I know that. Five, five. Oh my gosh, how many of you guys like Will and Grace? There's a scene, because Karen, there's a character named Karen, <clears throat> she's a very wealthy lady, it's the set, the setting is in New York City, and she has a maid from Mexico. I don't know what they're saying. Ochenta. 18, no, 80. The flight leaves in 80 minutes. There you go. Where there are 80 passengers late. What was I saying before the Cinco Cinco? Oh, Karen Walker. She had a maid from Mexico. Her name was 
Rosario. Rosario, which is like a stereotypical name for a maid. I don't want to be, you know, I'm just, that's what Orland says. He's like, oh, you know, it's a nickname for, what it actually, does it mean maid or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be, I could be wrong. They would get in these fights, and they were very comical fights. The fights they had were a little nasty. Like the housewives, like, not as bad, but, you know, pushing it. And so during the fight, uh, Karen was threatening to send Rosario back to Mexico. And she was like, if it weren't for me, you would be on a return flight back to El Cucaraco with chickens running up and down the aisles. <laughs> and that makes me laugh. Because seriously, chickens, pollo, pollo is a big part of the culture. Everyone likes chicken. Everyone eats chicken. Chicken, chicken, pollo, pollo, pollo. And you actually see them running around on buses. You see them. I don't think on planes. Maybe national. No, I've never seen it. Well, have I taken? Yes, I have taken a national flight. Um, but then again, I haven't been to those parts of Mexico. I haven't been to you know. So I I don't know. Comment down below if you're Spanish and you, the pollo was a big part of your life, or still is. I don't know. So, anyways, here I am eating my olives like this. Wow, I'm pretty much done. Mmm. I could go for another one. Oh, there might be a... There's a restaurant behind me. I kind of... I smell hash browns. But I was saying, there's another subway. I could continue this and get another one. But would it be more expensive? That's the thing. <clears throat> I'm okay. So, I think this is the end of my airport mukbang. I was gonna tell you guys a little story about being at the airport, but I don't really know what to say. Nope. nope, nope, nope. Well, you know, people are gonna be traveling soon because it's a uh, holiday. Well, yes, it's November almost. So November, December, January, these are like the most times people fly. And it's for the holidays, for Christmas and Thanksgiving and Hanukkah. And I'm sorry if I'm excluding other holidays during this time. Sorry, I don't, I don't know all of them. And um, yeah, so safe travels. And don't watch Shane Dawson's plane plane crash conspiracy before you leave on the plane. I'll scare you a little bit. But seriously, um, did you know I was driving here? You know, uh, Chris was so kind to drive me here. I was supposed to take the train, the tri rail, which is ugh, expensive and it goes so much slower than traffic because they have to make stops and they go i don't know why it's so much it takes so much longer if i would have taken the tri-rail to get here it would have been like an hour but chris drove me and took like 35 minutes then again she was going 70 miles an hour was she 60 so i yeah, anyways i'm very fortunate that she dropped me off here but yeah if, if you're traveling for the holidays i wish you the best of luck with your travels and Hello. i'm her honey mayor party here i don't know that same person that was like peeping <laughs> the peepers it's so funny you know chris it's so funny my friend asked me like oh since you're doing these things in restaurants right now like do you get a lot of people staring at you do, do people like come in and like wave and ask questions and poke fingers and give little funny ears and behind you and i said honestly sometimes yes i notice but 90 percent of the time when i turn on the camera I'm very focused on you guys, and I'm focused on what I'm trying to say, and I'm hungry, so it's all like this happening all together, so I don't really know what's happening behind me. I might check myself out in the, in the thing, but other than that, I'm really not that aware or that conscious of, um, there he goes, red shirt. Um, but when I go home to edit, that is when I usually see people sticking fingers up, people s s saying yuha yuha, and sometimes I don't even just notice that. I'm focusing on like making sure the food in my mouth isn't too gross or, um, you know, taking out some ums and ands here and there. And then I find out in the comment section from you guys that, oh, minute 22, did you see that guy peeping? Minute 14, that girl's face in the background. You know, I find out from my sloths the background. So, is that the red shirt man? No, it's a, no, it's a woman. Noodle. Noodle.
<laughs> Noodle. Ooh, it's hot. Why did you guys make this mess? Wow, or then leaves for a few hours to pick me up. And you guys make poo-poo everywhere. It's Noodle. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> oh, I just, oh, hi, you recognize me? <gasps> <gasps> oh, you happy to see me? Hello. Are you scared? Look how puffy he's getting. He likes you. He missed me so much. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Noodle. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> It's really nice being back with Mr. Noodle. As soon as I came into the Anna. house and he heard my voice, he started talking, so he came upstairs to the bedroom. Now he's just waiting for the food, because I'm the food guy. He's like, where's the rice? Orland's only fed me fruit all Anna. week. Only banana, you were the only, the only banana diet. You're ready for some pasta, aren't you? Yes. Anna. You can go back to your ups. There he goes. Hi, Roberto, how are you? I'm sorry, how are you, Roberto? Oi, pijitos, pijitos. Oh, my baby, hello. And then we have this big birdie. Mm. I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, poor thing, you need, your, you need your rest. It was a hard, long adventure picking me up from the airport. <laughs> That's a three hour process. Oh. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's airport subway <gasps> mukbang. And I'll see you tomorrow for another <gasps> another one. And I have the, I'm have i back with the whole family. The whole family's happy <gasps> to see me. And so maybe we'll do a family mukbang tomorrow. I don't really know. But <gasps> all I know is that I'm going to take a break today and just spend the rest of the day with the family. So <gasps> hope you guys have good family time today, too. And look at this cute little centerpiece. All right. I'm having, this is my welcome home meal. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. We are having rice with. It's uh, mashed up chickpeas with plantain, with plantain starch and some rice with potatoes and ujukos. Ujukos, yes, I thought. This is very healthy. Mmm, the birds want. Noodle want some? Noodle. Oh. Mr. Noodle. Everyone, Mr. Mr. Noodle. Noodle? He's like, I had enough of that. <gasps> more? Do you want more? I think that's a yes. <laughs> oh, his first taste of rice in a week. Well, hold on. Let him have some as well. Oops, there it goes down my lap. It looks like mashed peas down here. This, like, green stuff. But it's hummus. Mmm, I'm so, so good. Mmm. Oh, that's cute. Mr. Noodle. Here you go, sweetie pie. You're so sweet. You're patient. And then over here, Bleh. Orlin's on his side, and he's eating pineapple mash, mush mush. <laughs>